All right, we're going to be making a brass hand plane. And uh, the first thing you want to do is cut out your stock. About five inches for the sole. It's three-eighths inch, three inches thick. You're going to need another piece about two inches long. That's going to be for the bed, for the iron. And you're going to need two... 1 8 inch by 2 inch wide by about 5 inches long and those will be for the sides. What we're going to do first is just going to clean up the short ends or the long end rather. Take off about 15-20 thou. Make sure these lines are nice and crisp. and cleaned up. Now we're just going to clean up the edges, the ends. Don't worry about getting to a length yet. This you can try to get to two inches, but the length doesn't really matter too much, as long as you're close. Alright, we got everything squared up. The bed boss is to about two inches. The sole is about four and a half, four and three quarters. Now what we need to do is split this sole in the front and rear. And you can see my scribe line here. You want about, you want the front sole to be about one and three quarters, and then the rear is whatever's left. split. Not bad for a 70 year old uh, scroll saw. Alright, everything's all squared up and to size. It's good to take measurements of uh, all your lengths. You're going to have to add them up and that'll give us the length of the sides. on the front sole you want to stop just short of making an actual point I don't know if you can see that just before you hit a point alright so I put the rear sole and the bed boss together I squared them up And what I did is I drilled three holes for pins to hold them together. The placement is kind of arbitrary. It's wherever you want to put them, but I would put three. Put a little red Loctite in there. These holes came out a little loose. I think I need a new reamer. These are eighth inch brass pins. So drill, ream, red Loctite, pound them in. What we're going to do is mill it off just like a hundred thou off of the off of the face and then we'll hit the rest with the sander. It'll save you a lot of save you a lot of sanding if you leave these a little tall and just do it on the sander. All cleaned up, you can't even see the holes where the pins were. I'm a little concerned that this isn't going to be long enough, the ramp. 
Normally I would use half inch or five eighths for the bed boss, but brass is pretty expensive right now, so that's not happening. It should be all right, but it's a little concerning at the moment. I was gonna say too, polish the top sides of both of your, or at least this part, polish that before you put them together. Otherwise it'll be a pain to sand. Soul ramp. You can clean that up if you like, but it's not going to be seen. So, again, stop short of the point. No need for it to be pointy. All right, our next step is to get our sides to length. And the length is going to be your rear and front soles plus about 350 thou for the mouth. Uh, the last one I made was 300 and I had to file it a little bit so we're going to go 350. Okay, cleaned up the sides, got the sides to length. I left it in the vise. Make it a lot easier on yourself. You're going to drill both holes at the same time. You got three for the rear, two for the front, and then a quarter inch for the, the cap uh, dowel pin. These are reamed to one eighth inch, or just under. And that'll take our pins that'll hold the sides to the sole. No need to ream this, the quarter inch. Uh, the dowel we're actually going to sand down to be a couple thou under, that way it fits in there, and then it's going to get peened. Okay, holes all drilled. Marked out our shape. But next we're going to drill holes in our soles. Starting to shape. Best way to hold them together is put a quarter twenty bolt and nut in there and tighten it down real tight. It gets real hot, so you gotta do it in shifts. Alright, while you're waiting for your uh, sides to cool down, go ahead and cut out. A three inch length of quarter inch brass. That's going to be for our screw. You want like a two and five eighths quarter inch dowel pin. Then you're going to want about one and a half inches long for the cap. All shaped up. You got to countersink your holes for peening. I just use a handheld countersink and just get it as deep as you can get it. Do that to all the holes. Holes all cleaned up. Go ahead and polish the inside. This piece of brass has a big scratch in it, but it is what it is. I'm not going to sand it down. Because once we assemble, you won't be able to uh, sand this, so do it now. Alright, holes all drilled in the soles. I use a .1247 reamer. And that makes the pins go in there nice and tight. Be precise with all your drilling. If it's off, it's going to be, there's really no way to fix it. Alright, go ahead and polish the 
outside or both sides of the sides. We got our holes drilled in our sole. Take your dowel pin, the quarter inch dowel pin, and you got to knock off three or four thou. You just got to slip in fairly easy into the hole. I, I do it on the lathe. You can do sandpaper, whatever you like. Go ahead and put some red Loctite in your holes and pound in the uh, brass pins. This is quite a bit to peen, so I'm actually going to go on the mill and knock it down to about 100 thou. Otherwise, we'll never get clean peening. I'm not very good at it, but when you start to get cracks in it, you got to stop. What you want to do is make it as flat as you can across the side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mill off, get about a thousandth of an inch off of the, off of the side and clean up these. And then we'll take it to the belt sander, and that'll get the rest. And it'll polish it up at the same time. off of the sides just to clean up the peening we'll hit the rest on the belt sander you got to get a little creative with your work holding I can already tell some of my peens aren't very good but it is what it is there it is all uh, milled down and then put on the sander just quick on the sander, I just wanted to knock off the whatever was proud. Not too bad. Got one little guy here and one little guy here, but that'll sand out, I think. I think I'll be able to sand it down. Go ahead and size up your cap. It's about one and three eighths long, I guess. And the width, you want about five thou less than the sole, so that it fits in there with still a little bit of wiggle room. You can mark out where the quarter inch dial pin is going to go through, and this is going to be a three eighths tap. For the screw. Now you go ahead and drill your quarter inch hole, do your 3 16 tap for your cap. Just putting a nice round edge on the cap. You can chamfer it if you want, whatever you got to do to clean it up. Go ahead and 
take a cap. You want your pins to stick out maybe a little better than an eighth. is tough. So I'm just going to eat it and we'll have two little circles. But at least they'll be even. Go ahead and mill these, mill this to about a thousandth off the side and then bring it to the belt sander, clean it up. All done cleaning up the sides. And a couple little peening marks here. And like I said, the quarter inch. I just wasn't able to get it down good enough. I'm still new at peening. What I do in the past, what I've done in the past, instead of using these pins, I'll drill and tap, and then you mill off the head, or part of the head. It looks really good. It's just a lot of work to do all that tapping. So I figured I'd try to do the pins. The eighth inch pins are all right. There's a quarter inch. I gotta find something else to do with that. Cleaned up the bottom too. Now all we got left to do is make the screw and make the iron. Got our iron. About two inches long. And just wide enough to fit through fit into the plane. Put a 30 degree angle on it, and then get her nice and sharp on a surface plate with some sandpaper. Cuts through the sandpaper. I'm not great at sharpening, but they seem to be effective so far. Go ahead and make yourself a screw, a one and a half inches long. I use three quarter stock, three a sixteen. Put a little chamfer on the end too. All right, they're all done. Put her together and start making chips. I was able to clean up all the peening marks. Got a little guy right here, and obviously the quarter inch. Both sides look pretty good. This side looks great. Make some nice chips.